dialogues your daily dose of health and medical news i'm mr zaman and today i'm going to talk about based on ultimate one and two trial results novel drug b r i u m v i or brium v gets us fda approval for relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis patients tg therapeutics recently announced the us fda has approved brium v which is also known as ublituximab x i i y for the treatment of relapsing forms of multiple sclerosis or rms to include clinically isolated syndrome relapsing remitting disease and active secondary progressive disease in adults approval was granted for this indication based on data from the ultimate 1 and 2 phase 3 trials which demonstrated superiority over teriflunomide in significantly reducing the annualized relapse rate the number of t1 gd enhancing lesions and the number of new or enlarging t2 lesions results from the ultimate 1 and 2 trials were recently published in august 2022 in the new england journal of medicine brian v is the first and only anti cd20 monoclonal antibody approved for patients with rms that can be administered in a 1 hour infusion following the starting dose the administration schedule of brian v consists of a day 1 infusion of 150 mg administered in 4 hours a day 15 infusion of 450 mg administered in 1 hour followed by 450 mg infusions every 24 weeks administered in 1 hour ultimate 1 and 2 are two randomized double blind double dummy parallel group active comparator control clinical trials of identical design in patients with rms treated for 96 weeks patients were randomized to receive either brian v given as an iv infusion of 150 mg administered in 4 hours 450 mg 2 weeks after the first infusion administered in 1 hour and 450 mg every 24 weeks administered in 1 hour with oral placebo administered daily or teriflunomide the active comparator given orally as a 14 mg daily dose with iv placebo administered on the same schedule as brandy both studies enrolled patients who had experienced at least one relapse in the previous year two relapses in the previous two years or had the presence of a T1 gadolinium or GD enhancing lesion in the previous year patients were also required to have an expanded disability status scale or EDSS score from 0 to 5.5 at baseline the ultimate 1 and 2 trials enrolled a total of 1094 patients with RMS across 10 countries that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon